hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I do a lot of makeup content here on YouTube and I'm also a cruelty free YouTuber. And today I am doing a tag video. This tag video I need to read. <laughs> it's called my blush collection tag and it's, it is made by Michelle Wong but she was inspired by Samantha March and Ali Glein's eyeshadow palette tag. I haven't done it, I think, and I don't know the exact name of it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about blushes and I have some blushes in front of me and some of the answers is going to be like the same. Some blushes are going to be the answer to more than one question. Jesus. I will leave all the people I've mentioned down in the description and I will also leave all the questions. So I think we just get started because I, I think if I talk more about this I'm just going to make me confused and you confused. So first up I'm going to show you my newest blushes and I had to think for a while but I think it is, how can I hold them? These two from Lethal. These came out in November I think. Um, so I bought this one. This is hybrid and this is a nectar. So these two must be my newest blushes. I can't remember if I bought a blush after these but I think not. So these are my newest blushes. And then my oldest. This was hard because I, I really don't know but I think it might be this one. This is from Makeup Store and it's called Sugar Pink. I know that I bought some blushes from Makeup Store kind of the same time. I can't remember which one I bought first because it was a lot of years ago and I think this is like the oldest I still have. So it might be this one, it might be another color but Makeup Store and they do really good blushes. I don't use them that often anymore but they are really really good. So I think this can be one of my oldest blushes. The blushes I had before, I have <laughs> um, I have the clutter, so this must be the oldest one I have, one of the oldest at least. Then my most expensive, and <laughs> this was a little bit hard, but I actually took a palette as my most expensive. This not only contained blushes, but it is the most expensive makeup product I've bought. If we don't count in like shipping and taxes on things but for like only for the product this is the most expensive thing I bought and it is the Natasha Bloom palette. It looks like this so it's not blushes in the whole palette but I bought it for the blushes because like these two that are meant to be glow I can't use them as highlighter so I bought this for the blushes so I guess this is my most expensive blush. Or is it? And then to my everyday blush and I don't use makeup every day but I know if I would use it and when I only want to do like a simple base and just like eyebrows and a little base I often take the Infinity palette. This is so dirty. The Infinity palette by Linda Holberg. This was the first Infinity palette and I use one of these two. I often use Andromeda because I just love how it looks on my skin. So this, if I would use blush each and every day, I think I would use Andromeda because it's just, it is not that pigmented and it just looks really, really good. And I think it's a really, really good blush. Is this annoying? Um, I use this palette as a face palette and not an eyeshadow palette, but so I would count this <laughs> as a blush. The next question was, by far the easiest to answer and that is my most colorful blush and that is the clown blush from Likely Makeup. And it looks like this. I I love these blushes and they are so freaking pigmented. I have used all of them and like I have to be so so careful. I have fucked it up more than once with this because sometimes I just forget like this really dark one, if I put my brush in I have to like tap it off like crazy to not get too much. But I really love 
these blushes. I love that I have an orange blush and a yellow blush and like this really really colorful pink blush and also this really dark one. So this is my most colorful blushes and I just love this palette. Then we're going into the best memory and this is... This is way way back. When... If you didn't know, I have had my channel on Swedish before and I did a beauty swap with one of my friends here on YouTube. It was amazing. I would love to do a beauty swap because it was it was so much fun. It was like Christmas and my birthday smashed into one and I just I don't know how to describe it. If you have ever done a makeup swap with someone, I guess you know what I'm talking about, but it's just like amazing. It's so fun to see what another person thinks you will like. And Louise that I did this with, she gave me this blush in the makeup swap and I loved it and I still love it. It's one of my favorite blushes. I don't use it that often anymore. It's just like sometimes I find it and I use it and it's down boy from the balm. It doesn't look much to the world, like at all, but it's one of these blushes, you can have it really really light. If you just dip in and put it on, it's really really light and you look really fresh. But then if you want to, you can build it up and it also has like a little bit of a shimmer in it. I just, this is an amazing blush and every time I pick it up, I think of Louise and uh, how fun it was to do that makeup swap and that she actually bought me this one. I, I'm i just happy when I use this and it's an amazing blush. Next one is worth the hype. And I don't know if it was such a big hype about this but I know it have sold out more than once and that is the Moon Prism blush from Luna Beauty. This is a palette. <laughs> you can't see it. No, it's it's one blush. It's the biggest blush in the world. It looks like this. I love this. This was my favorite blushes for, for the... This was my favorite blushes of last year. Um, I use these five because this is too dark for a blush for me. But these are just amazing. I have everything I want in this. I know why people bought it like crazy so it's sold out. I really get it because it is amazing and if you're thinking of buying this and you have the money and you want it, just do it. I love this. The only thing I think like with the pictures online, when I saw them I was a little bit meh. But then when I got it home, I like it's better in real life than on pictures, which is a good thing. And this is just an amazing blush palette. I get why people bought it like crazy. It's it's so, so good. I just love this one. Next question is the opposite, so not worth the hype um, or the most disappointing. And I don't know if I am disappointed pointed with any blushes that I have, but I have to say the <laughs> Natasha Denona Bloom palette. I haven't used this at all as much as I wanted to. It's like these two creams up here, I have a hard time to get like cream products into my base routine. I don't know why. I've used it, I've liked it, but it's nothing like it's amazing and I guess that this was pretty hyped when it came out, yes, because it is Natasha Denona, but I don't think this is for me. I don't think that cream products is for me, and I hate it because I want to love them, but it's hard for me to, like, fit them into my routine, so... For me, this is not worth the hype, but I don't want to decluttering it because I I paid for it and I want to try to make it into my routine, but I'm going to try, <laughs> try my best. If you have any tips, please let me know because I, I just can't make it work so it goes in natural. I don't know what it is, but I have a hard time to like 
get cream products into my base routine. The next question is a favorite from a favorite brand. And I have to say Nabla and I have to say this one, this is Kendra. Nabla does amazing blushes. I love this Kendra. I have three others, but uh, this is the one I use the most. It is just an amazing blush. It is so freaking good. And what I love the most about this, I think, it's it's not that pigmented and I liked it in my blushes the most because then you can go in just with a little bit and if you want more it's just you can just build it up. So Nabla's single blushes are amazing. I'm just waiting for Nabla to release more blushes. I don't know what they are doing but they should release more because this is amazing. An amazing formula, a good size. Just is the top. Then to my most used blush, I actually think it is this Down Boy from The Balm. I can't like think of another one that I've used more than I've used this. Now I don't use this that much but when I got this it was like the only thing I was using for my blush. So I think if I count it, I think this should be the one that I've used the most. And then to my most affordable blush and I was like, I don't know which one it could be and I like, do I have to google this to see? But then I saw this in my drawer. This is definitely my most affordable blush. This is the Revolution Vivid Baked Blushes or Vivid Baked Blush in Bang Bang You Are Dead. And this is definitely my most affordable blush. I don't even know if Revolution still has these. It's like a really product and I don't like the packaging but the blush this is actually really good it is pink with like a silvery sheen to it it is really 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 not that pigmented you have to go in like a crazy person but when you well have done that it's a really good blush so yeah this is my cheapest blush my most affordable blush it's good, but you have to go in with pretty much. And I don't know if they still have this. I bought this when it was so popular with like this. I think it was Milani that came out with their baked blushes and maybe then Revolution. But when baked things was really popular, this was available. It wouldn't surprise me if this still is because I think Revolution, they just make their selection bigger and bigger. I don't think they ever take something out. It's just growing and growing and growing. And then the last question is most underrated and I have to say Nabla's single blushes. I haven't seen many talk about this. I don't know why <laughs> because they are so good. I have three of them. I love them all. Maybe you want to see the other ones. I also have whew, I also have these two so you see they have like a big variety of colors and I just love Nabla's single blushes and I think more people should try them because they are amazing. And you know what? <laughs> that was actually all for all for this tag. I am like all out of it to do tag videos. I don't know why. I did them quite a lot before, but now it's like, I don't know how to do a tag video. It feels a little bit strange. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you want to do it yourself, I leave the question down in the description. And I also will leave all the people that has created this and has inspired to this tag. I almost said collab <laughs> to this tag video. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.